Hey, what's going on my friends? It's been a little while since I put out a cooking video, barbecue video, trying to get back in the groove here, doing something. Um, but I'm wanting to do some barbecue ribs. I've just got one problem. Thanks to our good friends at the Wuhan lab, I can't be in smoke because I'm still recovering. Still haven't got my lung capacity back, but uh, it's coming around. Anyway, I ran across people doing ribs in the Instapot. So I'm gonna give it a whirl. Not expecting grand results, but let's see what we can do. All right, we just got us some spare ribs here. I've already trimmed up the back and uh, took the skin off. So if you hadn't, don't know how to do that, you can easily find that on a video one of my earlier videos or anywhere online, but I'm just gonna use some, first layer I'm gonna put on some, uh, I don't use any kind of binders, pork's plenty sticky. I'm gonna use some gospel all purpose seasoning for the first layer. Any seasoning you like for ribs. And I can't tell you what this layer is because this is one that wins the trophies. All right. Finished getting these seasoned up and we'll be right back. All right, I saw kind of ideas for uh, ingredients on what liquid you put in there. So I'm just gonna use a, a total of one cup, half and half mixture of cranberry and water for the bottom of it. See how that works out. Do the let them set and sweat in for a little while. And we will put them in and see what happens. All right. It appears everybody else is doing 25 minutes on this thing, so let's see here. We'll set it for 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. That's it. Well, as you can hear my crew member in the background giving me directions for the Instapot, I have no idea what I'm doing with the Instapot. So, uh, I'm gonna go get a cold beer. Oh, never mind. We're not barbecuing for real. So I'm gonna go sit back in the recliner and, uh, drink some sweet tea. Nope, unsweet tea, because the doctor said I need to be on diet also. So anyway, I'll get back with you in a few minutes. All right, we got our timer done. Let the steam off and got her opened up. Let's see what kind of mess we got here. That's something. That is something, I'll tell you. All right, head country, apple habanero. That's some good stuff. We'll go ahead and lay it on there. We'll get this coated and I'm gonna throw it in the oven for about, I don't know, a few minutes there. Let this get caramelized and everything. I have a feeling it's gonna be, tastes like a McRib or something. That's what it reminds me of, that smell. All right, I'm gonna throw this in the oven, let that cook and I'll show y'all what it looks like when we get out. All right, I had them in the oven about 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes, 400. Got it all caramelized. I'm just gonna put another little layer on here to make it pretty and shiny for the money shot. So there you 
you go. I'm gonna let them cool off a minute and we'll cut them. All right, let's, let's see what some steamed up pressure cooked ribs look like. I mean, I probably won't even be able to cut them. They're just gonna fall apart. We'll try to cut them so I can give you a, a cross section like a, yeah, they're too tender. the bone be get some good good ribs around the house it wouldn't be worth a darn for competition cooking but uh anyway let's see what this tastes like i guess we don't need that bone in the way tastes like a steamed rib with barbecue sauce on it <laughs> no smoke flavor but uh Oh, ain't got to worry about the bones. Just grab you a fistful of meat. But anyway. All right, so what do we think about the steamed up pressure cooked ribs? They're okay. I mean, if you really want some ribs and you don't have time or you can't cook, they're all right. Maybe try some liquid smoke in them or something, but um, it's... It is what it is. It's not a smoked rib, but it's good and tender. Yeah, but anyway, until next time, we'll see y'all down the road.